Yo, what's up guys, it's Brent again. Um, we're in tutorial three, and in this tutorial we're actually gonna set up our project. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our project, what we're gonna actually be doing over the course of the next like 10, 15 videos. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna set up an OAuth login page for a website. Uh, if you don't know what OAuth is, typically when you go to a website and they ask you to sign in with like Facebook or they ask you to sign in with Google Plus or Twitter, stuff like that, uh, that is an OAuth uh, login. And basically there's communication between your server and Facebook and they verify uh, that uh, it's okay for you to use your user's uh, profile and to get data back from Facebook about you know their status or their pictures or their username and uh, uh, maybe their email and stuff like that so you can use that as information uh, in your database or whatever so basically it's just a secure way to log in so with that uh, that's the direction we're going but we gotta start off so much smaller uh, so the first step is we're going to set up our project. We're going to set up a framework called Express that I talked about a little bit in the last video. I'm going to go ahead and get all of our project uh, set up like uh, to basically just send a uh, text response again like we did in the first video. But this time, uh, once we're done with it, we're going to be building uh, on top of it. So no, we're not going to go back and delete any more uh, stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a command window, and some of these steps will be uh, uh, familiar to you. npm init. We're going to call our project um, OAuth project version description. We're going to change this to server.js. Test command, we don't care about any of this other stuff, that's okay. So we're going to need a couple libraries. We're going to bring in Express, so npm install Express. Save that so it goes to our package file. And npm uh, morgan, uh, npm install, sorry. Morgan is a way to uh, log uh, incoming traffic requests and stuff like that to the console. Uh, so let's go ahead and exit out of that. So let's look at our JSON file really quick. Our JSON file shows that our dependencies are Express and Morgan, so that's good. Now let's go ahead and create a new uh, file. I'm going to bring it over here. And we're going to control shift s and go to our project file folder. I'm going to create a server.js file. Okay, now we're good. Uh, we're set up. So now we can just start coding. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in our express uh, library. And we're going to do that by doing var express equals. And then we're going to say require express. That's pretty much as simple as it gets right there. Uh, so then we're going to do var, and we're going to create our app with express. So app is going to equal express the actual function, so what we did right above it. And then we got one, more, uh, a couple more things. We're going to declare our port, and our port is what uh, our server is going to be listening on for requests and what it's going to send off of for responses. Uh, so of uh, our port equals process environment dot port so it's either going to be that if it's set on your computer or stuff like that or we're going to make it 8080 if there was uh, nothing there nothing saved there um, one more for Morgan Morgan equals require uh, Morgan. These are pulling from our uh, node modules folder. Okay, so in Express there's a thing called middleware and uh, in in middleware basically anytime you use middleware it's being executed on every transaction between 
uh, client and server. So uh, if you get a request from the client, it has to go through the middleware first before it gets to basically your application. Um, so uh, for this thing that I've, I've told you about, it's Morgan, uh, we want that as middleware. So anytime we get a request from a, a client, we can say, oh, we got a request, let me log it to the console. So we, this would be a good opportunity to use what we call middleware. So for middleware, what we do is we just say app.use and we just say Morgan and this is gonna be our environment that we're gonna use so we're gonna use dev the dev and development environment and so now anytime we get a request to our server uh, it's gonna use app dot use um, that Morgan so it's got to go through that little program first and that program like I said will log to the console um, now we can use expressed um, to actually respond to the client's request with some sort of text or something like that. So we're going to say app.use. The first parameter we're going to give it is uh, parameter is basically the path that the uh, client is requesting. So this would be just the default path. We could do slash photos and that would take us to our photos uh, site. Um, we could do slash login, which would take us to our login. But for right now, we're just going to do our default path. And then the next parameter is a function. And you're going to see this a lot. That it require, The function requires a request and a response. Um, and then what, all we're going to do here is we're going to say uh, respond to the client with some sort of string. Um, so we're going to do respond.send and that is an express uh, function um, and then we're just gonna type in what we're gonna say our first express program alright that's that's that so when a, uh, a user comes to our website they type in um, you know our website and they go directly to it it's going to uh, default to our default directory and then it's going to send them a piece of text and it's going to say say this so the last thing we have to do is we have to tell our application to listen on uh, the port that we've already defined so we're going to say app.listen and then we're going to say port and one more thing we're just console.log um, uh, server running on port port so we'll go ahead and control s save that let's go to our uh, directory here shift right click to open our command window and say node server dot js server running on port 8080 pull up a new window here localhost 8080 and it says our first uh, program or express program so let me show you what Morgan did is so when we went there let's see if I can do it one more time side by side when I went there it, it uh, logged get uh, our directory that we're going to uh, the code that it gets this is a good response and how long it took so one more time if I, exp I refresh that you can see that the uh, it's every request is getting logged using our middleware uh, so that's our first program that's what we're gonna that's the end of this tutorial but I do want to show you uh, documentation and stuff like that and where you can find uh, stuff so uh, expressjs.com uh, this is gonna be documentation for Express I want to show you how I uh, information on uh, request.send so uh, I go to API references and then you click on response. I'm going to control F to use find in Chrome and uh, response.send. We're going to look for the main uh, method here. Should be done here somewhere. Here we go. Response.send. Let's read it. It says, sends the HTTP response. The body, the parameter can be a buffer, object, string, an object, or array. So you have lots of options as to what you can put here. You could just put a string. You could put an object in there. Uh, you can put an object, uh, like a buffer object and stuff like that. You can send HTT HTML uh, through it. Um, stuff like that. We're going to go in a little more in depth in later tutorials, but that's the first thing I wanted to show you, uh, that you can find a lot of information in the Express API references. 
Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you is Morgan. Um, if uh, you're looking for most of the common libraries in ExpressJS, um, here are a lot of them. We can go, we can search Morgan and go here, and this will tell you what Morgan is, how you can use it. Um, like, like we did here, we're just going to require Morgan. What it does, HT, it's a logger middleware for Node.js. So that's that. I hope you got a little bit of information out of that. Um, on our next tutorial, we're going to talk about cookies and sessions and stuff like that. Uh, so look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.